Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to make tuck toys for your dog. It's actually super easy. Uh, I use fleece. You could use any fabric. Uh, you could even probably use rope to do this. The one thing is to make sure that if your dog chews off and consumes pieces of fabric, like actually swallows them, then you never wanna leave them alone with a toy like this. Always supervise their play. So there's a few different things you can do when making tuck toys, longer or shorter depending on how long you cut your fabric. You can also do a square like this or a circle. Um, and I'll show you how to do each of those. The other thing you can do is put a ring, a loop in the tug toy. And I did one with a circle and one with the square pattern for fun. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to do that now. So usually when you buy fleece, or fabric, it comes folded over. So this is folded here. So I use that to my advantage. My long tug toys, I don't cut it. For the short tug toys, I do cut it. So I'll show you a sh with a short tug toy, it's a little bit easier. Um, I'm just gonna pick the side that's perfectly overlapped from the last time I cut. Now, it doesn't matter if it's a little wavy it's gonna come out in the tug toy, but this is where you wanna decide your width. If you go really thin, like an inch, your tug toy is gonna to be really thin. It's also gonna be longer, it's gonna take you longer. If you do two inches, it's gonna be a fatter tug, tug toy and it'll go faster. I usually kinda of go halfway in between about an inch and a half or two inches. I'm not measuring exactly, but. You want to ideally have some nice sharp scissors for this. Depends how much you're doing. Since I'm doing a short tug toy, I only need to do this twice. Okay, so once you've got your two pieces, make sure the ends are nice. Sometimes fleece has these ugly ends and I just cut them off. You could leave them on while you make the tug and cut them after. It doesn't matter. So then I wanna take these two ends, I'm just gonna cut them. And there we go, now I have four strips of fabric, maybe about two feet long. So I'm gonna take those and I like to just kind of alternate them for the end of the toy. You can do whatever you want. And then tie a knot. So you want to make this pretty tight. And I will often just tighten each one individually. And on this side as well. Once you've tied the knot on the end and it's nice and tight, you're gonna start doing an overlap. I'm gonna show you now, which I already did a bit of because I thought I was recording it, but I wasn't. So I'm gonna to have to start over. But once you tie the knot, you're gonna lay out your four pieces like this in between your legs. Okay, so you're just gonna do a simple overlap. You're gonna take one of the pieces and then overlap the other piece. And then you're gonna take the piece you just overlapped and overlap the next one. And then you're gonna take that piece and overlap the next one. And then you'll take the last piece, overlap the one you just put over it, and then tuck under the original one. So then you can see once you've done that, you've kind of got a square. It's very loose, but you have a bit of a, a square where every piece is overlapping the other. All you do at that point is pull it tight. And pull it really tight, because you want this to be a very tight, firm tug toy. And because each, each link is so tight, if dogs do bite them in half, they don't fray or unravel. So that's one of the nice things about these toys. So again, just take one, overlap the other one. As you can see, I kind of like to leave a, a little loop there where I'm gonna tuck the last one in. Overlap, 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 and tuck. And then pull tight. Okay, one more time I'll show you. Overlap, 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 overlap and tuck, pull tight. 
and you just keep doing that. And what happens is you get this circular spiral pattern and it's really tight and really stiff. Actually, they do loosen up with use, but they start out nice and stiff. And you can see the little square at the bottom. Okay, so I'll just quickly finish this toy and show you how I finish them up at the end. Okay, so when your tuck toy starts to get short at the ends, and here you can see the green fabric ended up being stretchier, so it's longer, but the purple's getting pretty short. You want to make sure you're going to be able to tie another nice knot um, so you don't go too short. Though in theory, you could just you could just end the tuck toy like this. It's knotted. It's not going to come undone. So you don't need another knot. Uh, I usually just add them anyway for aesthetic purposes. So, you know, I've got plenty to pull through to make a knot. So I'm gonna go a couple more notches just to make the tuck toy a tiny bit longer. Okay, that should do it. So once you get to the end, you just take the end pieces and you want to tie a knot. I try to make it overlap the tug toy a little bit just so it looks nice. And I try to pull it really, really tight one piece at a time. Just so when it gets tugged on like by you and your dog, it doesn't come loose. So it's nice and tight. I'll retighten the other side because usually by this time, there's some room for tightening. All right, so there we have it. Now what I'll do at this point is I'll cut the ends. I usually will kind of make them even, but you don't have to do this. You can leave everything kind of longer and uneven. Your dog doesn't care. And then I always add this fancy little detail to the end, just for fun. Of course, you can do whatever you want. You can get creative. You can just leave them square. But I think they look fun. And there you have it. So that's a small size tug toy. It's stiff at first, but they do get more wiggly and they're stretchy. So to make a longer one or a square, I'm going to show you both or one with a loop on the end. I'm going to try to show you everything in one toy. So again, I cut one and a half to two inches wide. You can go wider for thicker tugs or skinnier for thinner, longer tugs. Okay, so again, if you're doing a longer one, you need four pieces and you don't cut, don't cut them at the ends, keep them intact. So then what you do, you take the full length and put it together. So you've got a pretty long one to work with this time. Now if I just wanted to make a regular long tug like this, I would knot around here and then start working and then knot when I get close to the end. And obviously this takes twice as long 
maybe longer because you have to deal with the tails, which are a little longer, a little more annoying. If I wanted to make one like this, what you do in this case, you get everything lined up, kind of nicely organized, and then you figure where the halfway is. Think about kind of how long you, where you want your circle to, to start, and then you would tie a knot there, a loose knot. Oops. So let's say I'm just going to go a third up, roughly. I'll tie a loose knot. Okay, so I'm not going to tighten this one at all. And then what I would do, put the knot between my knees and just start, start making my tug. And again, I always like to alternate the colors like this, but so start making your tug overlap. Overlap, 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 and tuck, and then pull. And you can pull this really tight, and then, you know, it'll kind of disappear into the knot, but it's there and it forms the base of your tug toy. And then later when you undo this knot, this will stay tight. So I would do that, then I would make the tug, do 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 until I get to a point where I can undo this knot and the tails are the same length. At that point, you merge them together, double up your colors, and continue making your tug and it'll be thicker because now you're doubling up the fleece. So I hope that makes sense. And that's how you would make one like this. You just start at the top of the circle. You start here, make this part, and then merge the tails together, make more. And you get a bigger knot and you get double the tails. So these ones are fun and you know you can hold this part and the dog can bite this or vice versa it's pretty cool okay so the next thing i want to show you is how to make it square so i'm just going to do a couple more reps so you can see what it looks like So I can actually undo this knot already. Once you've started your tug toy with a few reps, they're basically knots, so they hold. So you can see I started a tug and it's it's holding there and I've got the square. So for the square shape, you remember on the other shape how we always we overlap, overlap overlap, overlap, and tuck, and go under to make the circle. And you just keep doing that in the same direction to make a circle. Well, to make a square, you alternate directions every time. So this time, instead of overlapping this way, um, clockwise, I'm gonna overlap counterclockwise. Up instead of down, for me, from my perspective. And then I'm gonna continue on, overlap and tuck. Same thing, just different direction and then tighten. Okay, and at, as you alternate directions every time, you get a square shape instead of a spiral circular shape. So I have one little trick to help me remember which direction to go the next rep, because sometimes, I mean, usually I'm watching TV while I'm doing this and I can forget which way I just went. So I always note where's the fleece coming out of the square here in this case it's the bottom on this side so i'm going to overlap going the bottom way and if it was coming out the top side i'd overlap going the top way so that's how i remember if so for example because it's coming out the bottom right now that means i'm going this direction the bottom direction first and i always just start with the right-handed piece of fleece now this is just a little tool I use for my own memory. So now it's coming out the top. So this time I have to go this way. Okay, when we're doing a circle, it's always coming out the top and you're always going down the bottom. So the circle, you're, it's the opposite. You know, you're always going this way from the top to the bottom every time. The square, uh, alternating directions each time. And then you get 
the square shape, which is pretty cool. 